I'm Cooper McMullen. And I'm Gracie Thompson. It's Monday, December 13th. Here's what's happening today in and around South Vermillion. It's getting close to Wildcats. There's just one week remaining until final exam. The final exam committee, led by Mr. Idlewine, worked hard to come up with an exciting schedule this year. Final exams for periods 1, 2, 3, and 4 will be Monday, December 20th. Students will have an hour to complete each exam. There will be a 10-minute break between first and second period exams, as well as between second and third period tests. Lunch will follow your third period exam. Following lunch, your fourth period exam will be administered. Students will be in class the remainder of the day, fifth, sixth, and seventh periods. Tuesday, December 21st, will feature exams for periods five, six, and seven. There will be breaks between tests, and you will end the semester with the regular classes for periods one, two, and three. Mr. Audubon would like to make sure every student understands students cannot, I repeat, cannot leave until all the final exams are completed for that day. Students who are exempting out of finals will be watching a movie in the auditorium after attendance is taken. Students are not allowed to go to the movie after completing their final. Applications are now open for the Indiana Senate Page Program. This is an interactive educational experience for students in grades 6 through 12 to learn about state government. Senate Pages have the opportunity to tour Indiana's historical state house, including the House and the Senate Chambers, the Supreme Court, and the Governor's Office. They can observe the legislative session directly from the floor of the Senate, listening to debates on the important policy issues, and meet and assist senators with age-appropriate tasks. Visit surveymonkey.com slash r slash 2022 SPP to find an application. The school improvement community continues to put together what could possibly be the biggest and the best career fair South America has ever seen. Be on the lookout tomorrow for a survey sent out by Mr. Magnuson. The community wants you, the committee, wants you to put your input in on what should be featured at this year's career fair. Make sure to read over it carefully and choose which careers you would like to see featured this year. This year, the Indiana High School Athletic Association will be celebrating, along with the rest of the country, the 50th anniversary of Title IX and the beginning of inclusion and of opportunity for all. Title IX did not simply provide opportunity for young ladies, it opened the door to support all student athletes in all programs. It promoted intentional conversations, impress impressionable boys and girls with respect to inclusion and mutual respect for all within our communities. For lunch today, in both lines, baked, baked potato with meat tacos. That's gonna do for the news, Wildcats. Let's send things over to Sienna Norman, who has a look at our sports. How things go over this weekend, Sienna? Thanks, Cooper. It was kind of quiet this weekend in the world of Wildcat sports, but let's take a quick look at what happened. Our wrestling team traveled to North Putnam to take part in the Kenny Kearns Invitational. The Wildcats finished 2-2 two two on the day against some tough competition. In the opening match of the day, as we fell to Indianapolis, Bishop Chittard, 46-33. The Wildcats next faced off against Terre Haute South and won 48-34. In the third round, SV took care of the rival North Vermillion 48 to 36 and fell. And in the fourth round, SV fell to Alexandria 47 to 35. With their finish on the day, the Wildcats now stand at 13 and 3 and will travel to Southmont Tuesday night. The boys' basketball game scheduled for Saturday night against Marshall was canceled last minute. That's going to do it for eSports. Let's send it over to the Weather Center and OZ Magazine. Welcome back, Wildcats. I'm Ozzy Magaji, and here's a look at your weather. Today, we're looking at a high of 52 degrees with partly sunny skies and a low of 32 degrees with clouds. Tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 55 degrees with partly cloudy skies and a low of 59 degrees with cloudy skies tomorrow night. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Wednesday, we're looking at a high of 63 degrees with rainy skies and a low of 53 degrees. Thursday, we're looking at a high of 59 degrees with rain and a low of 28 degrees. Friday, we're also looking at a rainy day with a high of 46 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. Saturday, we're looking at a high of 39 degrees with partly, 
partly cloudy skies and a low of 22 degrees. And finally, on Sunday, we're looking at a sunny day with a high of 40 degrees. What's up, Wildcats? It's a pretty joke of the day. What is a Christmas tree's favorite candy? Orna, mints. It's gonna do it for your new sports mother. Have a magnificent Monday, Wildcats. Mm -hmm.